Slip and Slide Records responsible for Trick Daddy, Trina, Rick Ross, Plows, no artist by the name of Shawnee, Quo, Atiba, you know, and we've been doing our things for over 15 years, man, continue to grind. I'm fine to see you on Slip and Slide Records, and, you know, blessed to be on this phone having this conversation with you. You know, I'm a God-fearing man, I definitely, um, you know, I'm a child of God. Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, my personal Savior, you know, I, I try to make sure that I let everybody know that up front at the beginning. That's why I'm a lot behind the scenes, very humble, try to make sure that everybody got their role to play, you know. Artists got their role to make good music and make their fans happy. My staff got their job of making sure we promote it, let the world know that the album is in stores, the album's coming out, and, you know, the new record is working on radio, whatever it is. And my job is to make sure the business is straight, you know what I'm saying? And as you can see, 15 years later, We've been blessed and fortunate enough to continue to do good business. Been in business with Atlantic Records over 10 years. And like you said earlier, been in business with Def Jam since 2006. Hey, you know, for me, a uh, child that, you know, probably in the third grade, people say that this guy's going to end up in prison. You know, like the statistics and the principal and, you know, maybe some of my teachers, you know. Let them say it the way they wanted to. They probably thought uh, in the third grade, I remember that conversation that, I was heading in the direction of not going in the right direction, but just to hear attorneys, this ain't just no anybody, these attorneys that has represented me and attorneys that had been in negotiations with me over the years, to hear that they're coming together, all the attorneys, the bar of Florida, attorneys come together to give me an award of this accomplishment after Don Shula, you know, Don Shula was the one that got it last year, and you know, to be in a category with somebody like Don Shula, man, it's huge for me. And I look at it as truly a blessing. I like to let the kids know that uh, all things are possible. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he definitely don't made it with you. That excuse don't even work no more. You know? That's what I got out of the whole thing of uh, President Obama. Nobody can use that excuse no more, but I can. And because of this, because of my past, this and that. None of that. All that's going out the window now is an even playing field. And, you know, don't use the excuse. You can do whatever you want to do. And I feel I'm one of them type of people. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm definitely excited about what uh, President Obama's doing. And, you know, direction that he's trying to take the, co the country. And we all got to just pray for him and do our part. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if it's as much as just cutting the lights off at the end of the night. Don't leave them all. Everybody got a part to play in this. Shani is one of the artists that excites me because it's R&B and, you know, slip and slide. We don't have some R&B hits and everything, but I think that this is going to open up the doors to many more R&B projects, many more R&B artists. And I'm talking about, I don't know, any any category you want to put in, she's an incredible writer. You know, it ain't like people writing her music for it. She writes on, on a, a caliber of a 30-year-old lady. You would think a young lady like this, how could you even think of the things you're saying? How could you even say the things that you're writing in this music? And her music, you can feel it from... You know, the young 19-year-old mm. high school, 15-year-old uh, high school girl to that 35-year-old woman is going to be able to feel and, and understand where she's coming from. With the song she got up with Fab, she's telling mm -hmm. the truth, you know. Everybody in a relationship where they can't let that man go and they still chasing the man. Probably didn't want him no more. But he, she was able to, you know, put it down on pen and make it into a credible song that's doing very well for her right now. Uh, I give credit to Julian, the a &R, head a &R head, Slip and Slide. He told me about Shani when she was 16 years old and how excited she, he was about it and what she had the capabilities of doing. And I heard her DJ Khaled mixtape. I knew it right then that the girl had something. So I knew about it probably like two years ago, you know, when she was in a situation with another record company. And, you know, they weren't able to accomplish what they were trying to do with it. And I went and bought out her contract. Yeah, we got Quote, who is our pop artist that's coming out on Slipper Slide Jive. You have a new song called 808 featuring Plows. Incredible record. Doing very well as well at radio right now. And um, that's going to open up the pop division. You know, after 15 years and you've been doing something consistently and been successful at the universe, you got to look at it as a blessing. And then you got to ask God, where are you trying to take me to? And open up new doors and new opportunities. And, you know, we're starting this year off right by opening up new doors and going a whole other direction and, you know, spreading our wings a little bit more this year. So exactly. We got our radio artist by the name of Kamar. I mean, everybody was coming back from Jamaica raving about Kamar and uh, he was flavor unit and the things he was able to do as a reggae artist down in Jamaica I'm looking at newspapers and I'm talking to different promoters in Jamaica and different 
people I know, and they was talking so much about him, and one of my A&Rs by the name of O got in contact with him, and we signed him to a deal, and we have big and high expectations for Kamar as well. Like I said earlier, we're definitely going to spread our wings and go in different genres of music. We're in a stage, I tell everybody, you know, it was once upon a time where, and you go back to your mother and older uh, family members, they had eight tracks, and they went from, where they had a reel, it was a digital, I mean, not even a digital reel, some type of reel that they used, then they went to eight tracks, they went from eight tracks to cassettes, from cassettes to CDs, we're going from CDs to digital, so it's a little bit of harder transition right now that the music business is going through, but believe me, hip-hop ain't going nowhere. People are always going to need to hear good music to keep themselves. As long as the radio stations are, are still up and running, now if you would have told me they're shutting down every radio station and there's no more radio station, then I'd be worried. But hip-hop music ain't going nowhere. And we're going to continue to make good music. It just makes people have to take their time and really think. You can't just go in there and say, ha-ha, boo-boo, and that's it no more. you got to really put something together that people are going to be able to listen to and, and enjoy and, and can help them through hard times. Uh, help them party, help them have a good time. You gotta really get them involved in your music and make them want to buy you as an artist. You know, a lot of people now try and buy singles and ringtones, but people want to connect with an the artist. They want to be able to feel that artist and, you know, say, hey, that's my girl. That's my dude that I rock with him. Put him in when I get ready to go to work in the morning or on the way from work or whatever, you know. So we gotta make music that people can connect with now. That's all. That's what we work hard at to try to make sure I let my uh, I don't call my artists artists, I call them my business partners because you know, we work together. I try to help them with what they're doing. They try to help me continue to build this label. So I call them my partners. I let them work on their albums and do the things that they want to do. And then I come in and, you know, I might have to sit down with them and say, this one ain't got the potential to be that number one radio single on radio. Let's change this a little bit. Let's do that. And that's when I get involved. But majority of it, I let them do the album because I feel like I find talented people that, that got the talent to do it. You know, and I just take my experience and all the things we've been able to accomplish over the years and try to come together and just make sure we have a record that can go number one at radio to draw people to the stores as well. I'm, I'm going to leave it like this. I don't entertain rumors at all. You know, I, I hear all these rumors. I don't entertain rumors, so I can't even get involved in what rumors say. You know what I'm saying? I just know that Rick Ross will continue to make good music and um, he gonna get the fans what they want. That's but I don't entertain room. That's all I can say for about that. No, I just want to whoever's reading this interview, man, if you're going through any hard times right now because they say the economy is bad, just take time out and pray, man. You know what I'm saying? Everything gonna work out for the best. Trust me on that. That's something that I do. So I gotta pass that on to anybody that's listening or reading and hearing about this interview. Just take a little time out and pray, man, and, you know, things going to get better.